Hey everyone. Once again, it's early morning here in Niceville, which means time to make another video. So I want to go back to my first video where I talked about the four C's and one of those C's was courage. And I said that courage was one of our strongest weapons against fear and panic. And I wanted to expand on that a little bit for today's video. So if you look at the definition of courage, you'll see that it says right in it, the ability to withstand and overcome danger and fear. And that's usually the context we think about courage in, right? We think about it relative to danger and fear. And here's an interesting fact. The origin of the word courage comes from the Latin word core, which means heart. Now, how do I know this? I took Latin in high school and I was a member of the Junior Classical League, which was also known as the Latin Club. I know, well, wonders never cease. So we all understand courage and whether we think of ourselves as courageous or not, we know examples of courage. We know examples of courage from history. We know examples of courage from the movies. We know examples of courage from real world events that are happening today. Uh, the courage of our healthcare providers, our first responders, our essential workers, all of the folks today who are having to find ways to deal with the current crisis we find ourselves in. But I want to go back to another aspect of the definition of the word courage, and I want to go back to the aspect where it talks about persevering and withstanding overcoming difficulty. So there's a great example of this that I like to use, and it comes from the 1992 Barcelona Olympics, the men's 400 meter semifinal. Derek Redmond of Great Britain. Uh, anyone familiar with the story? Show of hands. I'm sorry, still getting used to doing this without an audience. Well, this is Mr. Redmond's second Olympics. He had an injury in the first Olympics that took him out of contention. So then it's probably his last shot. And about 250 meters from the end of the race, you'll see here what happened. He suffers a hamstring injury that is obviously one of those painful things that puts him down on the ground. But then something truly amazing happens. And the person that comes up and helps him along the track is his dad. And if you read the story, if you look at the story on some of the examples on YouTube, his father says to him that you don't have to do this. And Derek says, yes, I do. No matter how many times I see that video clip, I'm always moved because there's such a tremendous example of courage, what it took to get up and continue the race. And the other piece I think is equally important is the fact that sometimes we can't do it all on our own. Sometimes we need help. And for some of us, sometimes we have to have the courage to be willing to not only help just ourselves, but to help others. So right now you're thinking, hey, this courage stuff sounds pretty good. Where can I get some of that? Well, and that's just the thing is you can't mix it up in a potion. You can't order it from Amazon and you can't go to the Emerald City to see the wizard to get some. And that's because courage is inside you. You just have to find it. And today when we have danger and fear and difficulty, we have to understand that courage isn't going to make things less dangerous. It's not going to make the fear go away and it's not going to make the difficult easy. Courage is going to allow us to act in the face of that danger, fear, and difficulty. Courage is going to allow us to get up when it's easier to stay down. Courage is going to allow us to finish the race when we feel like quitting. Courage is going to allow us to accept help from others when we can't do it all on our own. And courage is allow us to help others when we'd rather just help ourselves. Find that courage inside you and make a difference. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.